From the beginning, even after over a year of research, I couldn't find out whether I'd have to adjust the general specs used on guitar pickups to compensate for making pickups 18 inches long instead of just 3 inches. I decided I just had to experiment and find the answers I needed. One primary question was how many turns of wire to use on a coil. Guitar pickups run around 5,000, though they run as high as 10. So I built the step coil. I wound an 18-inch coil, but pulling out a loop every thousand turns and labeling it and taping it to the outside and continued like this up to 10,000 turns. I would be able to make a dedicated test pickup where using jumpers I'd be able to step from a thousand winds to ten thousand winds and find the optimal range. As I wound this final coil I was packing up to head for Florida for the winter season, taking the coils I'd wound to finish the job there. Luckily it was one that survived in that first group of coils. When I returned to Virginia I used those coils to make the first working sets. At 6,500 winds they worked but they didn't tell me what was best. I wanted to complete the step coil test before I wound new coils and at the beginning of 2009 I did it. I built the test coil on a piece of hardboard. For my jumper strip I used a terminal block, cheap at all electronic surplus. It's simply a set of individual screw clamping pass through wire connectors. Finally I had to cut each loop and solder on short lengths of wire using different colors and labeling each as in and out then insert them into the terminal block. Like with any coil, I had to use the multimeter set on resistance as a continuity tester. I found two broken sections which I could bypass, so my final coil only ran up to 8,000 instead of 10,000, but that was good enough to start. Finally I made a cable and quarter inch jack, but I left the wires loose at the pickup end so I could move them from place to place on the terminal blocks as I conducted my tests. All that was left was to attach the magnets to the coil like a regular pickup. I also wrapped it in aluminum foil for shielding so I could use the coil later to run dual coil tests using jumpers to create a set of two matching coils within the step coil from 1,000 to 4,000 winds apiece that could be switched 180 degrees out of phase to cancel induced hum like humbuckers or switched from parallel to series. I set the step coil up on the dulcimer and plugged it into the mixer. I actually just played with it for a couple hours. Then I got serious. I ran a series of test routines. Single note scales across the entire range of the dulcimer, arpeggiated chords the same way, and finally a few m short multi-chord transitions in different keys, recording them all. Then I did two things. I used the multi-track recording layout to quickly switch from one test to the next. More important, I run each recording through my spectral analyzer and generate a graphic representation of each test, step by step. Though my ears could distinguish the different steps easy, the fact was, tone is a matter of opinion, and every step sounded interesting. From the lowest thousand whines that sounded like far off thunder, but musically tuned, to the hot brassy sound at the far 8,000 wind end. But the spectrograph was clear, showing an optimal response in the range of 4,000 to 7,000. A second analysis showed the widest range of frequencies sensed at 5,000 and 6,000. This is optimal then, since you can remove frequencies to create different tones, but it's hard to add what isn't there in the first place. So the test was a success. I wound the next set of coils to 5,500 winds.